that is always the first step that you need to figure out is who do you actually want to work with and what problems can you actually solve for them because think about it nobody fucking cares about video nobody ever bought a video because they want to have a video that just looks pretty in the end if you keep asking why it's going to come down to they want to drive more traffic sales awareness they want to get up internal productivity maybe if you're producing uh training video content right one of my clients he sold like last year like a forty thousand dollar training video deal and uh, that was of course uh, a huge problem that they had they had to do internal training they couldn't fly in staff because of lockdowns so what do they do now they have to produce training content to again make sure that the product still can go out to the market their staff knows how to use the product and uh, now they can use that same training video for years and years until that product changes eventually but this is now an investment that they made to solve that problem <laughs> nobody does anything if, if it's not again getting them from where they're at to there where they want to go or solving some form of a problem so this is what you need to think about for when it comes to video there's specific problems that you can solve right it's in the end usually a marketing problem right so i keep giving the dentist example but there's going to be some new people here right so uh, i'm going to give that again what does a dentist want if he's buying a video he wants more patience most likely right so now you were already starting to speak his language which is getting to the next part here how do we communicate this with the client but again this is uh this is the the big problem that the dentist has he wants to get more patience but not just that he doesn't want to have those cheap ass teeth whitening patients who bring him in 50 dollars uh, revenue he wants to get the big bucks he wants to get Invisalign patients potentially just one Invisalign procedure is a surgery whatever the frick it's called is basically something to make your teeth straight again and this thing here and this costs like five thousand dollars to uh, to uh, to do it this so this obviously has a lot of profit margin for the dentist so if you can get it in now and tell them like hey mr dentist uh, we recently helped another dentist in the area generate four new invisalign patients after three days of launching a video campaign would love to open a quick call and share what we did or share some ideas you're free to steal that's a message that they're now gonna care about like nobody fucking cares about video it's always about the target and the problems they have and that is what you need to communicate with the client which is already getting into the next part here is again how do you reach your target and get those leads into the door how do you strike that uh, that interest here and that's where you can't say hey we've got 50 years of combined experience in video nobody cares right you need to get inside their minds what are they thinking what is the the thing that they think about going to sleep that's keeping them up at night staring at the ceiling the first thing when they wake up in the morning they're thinking like shit i need to solve this fucking problem right? if you can get into that and strike that nerve with your message then again that's how you get action or that's how you get somebody to to strike interest again that's the dentist example is uh, quite niche right not gonna say you need to go after dentists but this is there for every industry and market you need to figure out who is it that you want to be working with or who should buy your product if you're doing this for your, your clients and you want to help create some better marketing content for their business then you would need to do this research with the client as well right this is going to change the kind of content that you produce for the clients because there's always a target for this product or service and they always have a problem that they want to solve and that's where you need to get in you, you when when if somebody is like a real estate agent and right now they're not getting any sales through social media and they want to get to a place where they're consistently selling their houses within a couple days of posting that might be that transformation and they need to think about what are those little hoops that they need to jump over to help them get from point a to point b and if right now it's no bookings through social media and they want to get to uh, i don't know 10 plus bookings per month through social media then what are these single things that they need to jump over and that should be your offer what you're selling them shouldn't be like all these things that you add on just because you think it's cool or you think it's going to look pretty it should be the minimum viable solution to get them from where they are to where they want to go so you're not going to start offering them like 4k 360 vr drone videos if they don't fucking need it so in most cases it's just some basic content with some basic marketing making sure that the content gets seen by the right people at the right time the distribution part which most production companies or video producers are completely missing they're sending the client over to the to the video and the, then their marketing team if they even have one probably doesn't know what the fuck to do and it's going to die off on social media with 200 views and maybe a couple engagements but those are the, the steps you need to map out like how do, can i help my clients get from where they are to where they want to go and that is what you should be selling to them so who is it that you even want to be working with and what kind of problems do they have especially if we're talking high paying clients right what type of clients would that be what type of projects would you want to be working with there's high paying clients in any industry it's just about getting inside their minds positioning yourself the right way breaking outside that uh freaking low paying video loop here where i'm going to give you guys some strategies in just a minute but once you have that video to show other people with the same caliber then you shouldn't have a problem booking those and that should be your new cycle of high paying clients right because again you only get what you're already uh working on usually i'll show you how you can break out of that cycle though in a second 
first again who and what and second where are you gonna find these people what outreach system are you gonna be using to get this message in front of people and again the message what are you gonna be saying to these people which derives from the problem and the outreach system derives from the target because if you're reaching out to lawyers you're gonna use a different method or system to reach out to these people. And all of these are systems that you set up, especially starting here, you're gonna have different marketing systems, maybe some form of email messaging that you send people, and then you can systemize that where you know, okay, this is the type of message we sent. We should be looking at this types of response rates. And if you're tracking that, then that's a system because you hey, for every X amount of messages, we're gonna get Y amount of responses and Z amount of bookings. And uh, that's one system that you can set up there. Maybe you might wanna run some advertisements for yourself at that point, you now have a proof of concept hey we have people in this market who are paying we have one have a case study of a client that you already work with in this market so let's run some ads to our website and uh, try and get some bookings on autopilot that will be another marketing system that you can use to get your message in front of your target customer where are these people hanging out a lawyer probably you might want to reach out on, on linkedin whereas musicians you, your outreach system might be instagram dms right or maybe even twitter that's going to be a different platform where these guys hang out if you're reaching out to to dentists then don't call them right you're always going to get stuck with a receptionist but if you're working with a uh, solopreneur type people then cold call might be a great option because uh, they're not going to have like a receptionist that you need to get through if you have their phone number chances are you're going to get the right contact and speak to the exact person you want to be speaking with so that's where cold calls might be a good idea but again there's tons and tons of different systems you can use to reach out and get that message in front of the, the target but it's going to change depending on that target that you want to go after does that make sense everybody any questions if that if you have any and otherwise give me a